Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer stories, starting with Inter Milan player Marcelo Brozovic, as it has been reported that Barcelona have identified three low cost alternatives if they don't sign Brozovic this summer. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Captain Sergio Busquets, as it has been reported that Saudi Arabian giants are set to triple Inter Miami's offer for the Barca heavyweight. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Having seemingly given up on the pursuit of Martin Zubimendi and Joshua Kimmich to reinforce the pivot position, Barcelona have shifted their focus to Inter Milan mainstay Marcelo Brozovic. The 30-year-old has been on the club's agenda since January and it appears that the Catalans are ready to make a move for him this summer to replace Sergio Busquets. However, Barcelona are facing stiff competition from Saudi Arabian giants Arnaj, who are offering him a lucrative long-term contract. So, there is a possibility that Brozovic might not arrive in Catalonia in the summer. As such, Mundo Deportivo's Roger Tarello is reporting that Barcelona have already compiled a list of three low-cost alternatives for Brozovic in case the Inter Milan star does not join. The first name on that list is Real Betis mainstay Guido Rodriguez. The 29-year-old Argentine is a player that Xavi Hernandez likes and has the most chances of joining Barcelona if the primary targets do not arrive. The 2022 FIFA World Cup winner is entering the final year of his contract and Real Betis will let him leave given their financial situation. Furthermore, the report even states that he could be available for as little as 12 million euros, making him an appealing option. The next name identified as a possible low-cost alternative for Brozovic is Villarreal's Dani Parejo. Like Rodriguez, the 34-year-old too is entering the final year of his contract. And given his age, there may be a chance that the Spaniard arrives for lesser than the Argentine. Parejo is a vastly experienced player and has shown himself to be adept at playing as a pivot and he could be a short-term solution for Barca until they can get their finances sorted. Finally, Fiorentino's Sofian Amrabat also features on Barcelona's list. The Moroccan has been on the radars for a long time now, but his signing could be difficult as the midfield is keen to resolve his future right away and the Catalans cannot move right away due to financial fair play situation. So as iterated earlier, if Brozovic do not arrive, Rodriguez could be the most likely option that Barca turned into this summer. Of course, we have been talking a lot about bringing in a new DM, you know, since Busquets finally decided he will not renew his contract. Marcelo Brozovic have recently been making a lot of headlines as Xavi Hernandez really wants to reinforce his midfield by bringing in the player after losing out in his two top choices in Martin Zubimendi and Joshua Kimmich, who that which who were out of reach, you know. And of course, Martin Zubimendi never wanted to play for Barca. He said himself that he prefers to inherit the shirt of Iyara Mendy than to inherit Busquets' shirt. Whereas for Kimmich, he said he still has a lot, to, a lot of things to do at Bayern. He has still not finished his mission at Bayern. And of course, those two players have been out of reach. So Barcelona all this while have been pushing to sign another alternative, which there have been a lot of, a lot of targets, but I think Barca have not really decided. Brozovic have been one of those players that have been strongly mentioned in many reports these past few days, as it has been reported that the player... Is also pushing for a move, but Saudi Arabian clubs are now, to be particular, have entered the fray and they want to, you know, they want to hijack the player from Barca's hands. 
and from because of that, Barca know the impact that such clubs can, you know, they can tempt many players, and that is why they have already prepared alternative players, three to be specific, three players that have been shortlisted. That if if Brozovic doesn't come, then they will go for one of those three players. Of course, all those three players are familiar players that we already mentioned them. You know, we have Guido Rodriguez of Real Betis, we have Sofian Amrabat, we have Dani Parejo of Villarreal. Of course, Guido Rodriguez has been one of the players that we once spoke about, but Xavi has not been considering him that strongly as the new midfielder that they want to bring. Of course, he has vast experience in La Liga and his price will be somehow affordable by Barcelona as Real Betis themselves are wishing to sell him as the club also faces some financial issues. Then Danny Parejo, I doubt if that one will ever come because honestly, as a Barca fan, I object to that. He's already 34 years old. There's no need for bringing a 34-year-old player. Even if it's for a short term, he's too old. Then we have now, you know, Amrabat. It's even surprising to still, leave, to still hear Amrabat's name in that list because we know that Amrabat have moved on as well as Barca have moved on from him. So it seems as though Xavi is still considering him somehow. It remains to be seen what they do in the next few weeks as to the new DM. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. After announcing his departure from Barcelona towards the end of last season, Sergio Busquets is still looking for his next destination. Continuing in Europe is out of the um, is out of the equation, and all signs indicate that the veteran will move to a lower tier league. Two options sit pretty on his table. On the fronts, for starters, he has the option to play with Leo Messi at Inter Miami in the MLS. The second offer arrives from Saudi Arabia, the country that has been making headlines for luring away some of the Europe's finest talents. Of the two, the USA-based club appeared best place to sign Busquets for a long time. However, the situation is now changing. According to reports on sport, Al Ali are already are ready to triple Inter Miami's offer. For the defensive midfielder, they are pressing to ensure that he does not commit to the American club and only ask for time until, last, until next week. The Saudi Arabian club are currently in the process of changing precedents and are thus in no position to make an official offer. If the player waits for a couple of days, the lucrative offer will certainly arrive. The ball is now in Busquets' field, having to choose between an unignored, ignorable economic offer and the chance to play with his former teammate and close friend places him in a difficult situation. The positive lining, however, is that both proposals are golden in their own way. Busquets wishes to sort out his future out of the earliest, especially given that it will include a move to a new country. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.